Warning. The following episode contains scenes of real talk that may offend you, convict you, and maybe even convert you. Viewer discretion is advised. How many bodies are screaming at us all the time? It's called pain. It's called sickness. It's called disease. So close your eyes. Say, Holy Spirit. Is my body mad at me? If you heard yes, stand up. Whoa. I have seen so many people healed when they've been prayed for and prayed for and prayed for when they release this prayer. And I know it sounds weird, but just do this. Say, body, I ask you to forgive me. Whoa. <laughs> For any way I have mistreated you. For any way I have let you down, ignored you, and made you scream louder. So when you're sick, you should just pray to yourself and confess how bad you've been to yourself? <laughs> what? No, said no verse ever. Well, welcome to Real Talk with Jordan Riley, where the real talk does not come from me, it comes directly from God's word. And that was Bethel Church, one of the worst churches in America. And that video you saw, there is so much wrong with it. And we need to break it down because so many people are being led astray by this nonsense. And I wanna teach you not only what is truth, but I wanna expose what is error. So let's get started. Number one, did you notice that that woman was preaching in church to men and women? Now, sadly, many people will say, there's nothing wrong with that. What's wrong with you people? Wrong. God's word has a lot to say about that. First Timothy chapter two, verses 11 through 14. God's word makes it clear that women are to remain silent in the church. First Timothy chapter three, verses one through 11. God's word again says that pastors and elders are to be men only. And in first Corinthians 14, verses 33 through 38, women are not to preach. This lady is violating God's word and rebelling against the Lord. Number two, she says that when you're sick, you're to pray to yourself. What do you mean by that? Oh, that sounds amazing, <laughs> but it's not. Let's look at what that says compared to James chapter five, verses 13 through 16. This is what it says. Is anyone among you suffering? Then he must pray. Is anyone cheerful? He is to sing praises. Is anyone among you sick? Then he must call for the elders of the church and they are to pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will restore the one who is sick and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, they will be forgiven him. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. The effective prayer of a righteous man can accomplish much." Those were some very clear instructions by the Apostle James. Now, what's missing? Did you see what was missing in all that? There's not one command to pray to yourself, nothing. There's also no command to confess your sins to yourself. <laughs> Again, nowhere found there. This in essence is new age mumbo jumbo. Bruh. Really, it's about the power to heal. It's within you. Just look inside yourself. There's no need for Jesus. You just got to go to yourself. Again, said no verse ever. Thirdly, she claims that we can ask the Holy Spirit, is your body mad at you? Have you been naughty? I love my little naughty fat. You're naughty. I mean, come on. And then you wait and see if the Holy Spirit says yes, and you stand up. Again, nowhere found in scripture. I mean, so according to her, you can ask the Holy Spirit anything and you're going to get an answer. Is that true? Is that biblical? No. Nowhere found in the Bible. Also, notice that right there. She keeps, during this, during this little part of the segment, she keeps going, whoa, sha la 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 la. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? What is that? Now, break that down a little bit. The whoa, because I've been, a, I used to be, before I got saved, a part of a church like that, that is demonic. Seriously, that is demonically influenced. You're like, whoa, like you feel something. It's weird. 
Okay, nowhere found in scripture. Also, the Shah La La, she would say that's her speaking in tongues. Wrong. Bata Handa Shurabada Yamaha. Bata Handa Shurabada Yamaha. No. According to Acts chapter 2, tongues are, were always and are always a known language. And if there was tongues still today, there would be interpretation. But no, she's just Shah La La all over the place. That is unbiblical. Fourth, she shares her experiences. That sounds lovely. <laughs> no, it's not. And sadly, with the Charismatic Church and the NAR, New Apostolic Reformation, they, their hallmark of what they do is they elevate their experiences, their stories above Scripture. It's always, well, I went here and healed a whole tribe and Jesus showed up to me when I was in the bathtub and I got taken to heaven and I had a vision and I had a dream, blah, blah, blah. All this is fairy tales. They're unverifiable. They didn't happen, but they want to make you think it happened. So it gives them some kind of like superpower that they really know what they're talking about because they heard from God directly. What a bunch of nonsense. Again, also she says, if you saw then, she talks about releasing prayers. So we got to release prayers. She's seen this happen. Let me ask you this, and you can ask this. Where's the proof? Show me the medical evidence of this happening. She can't. It's all stories, it's all fables, and it's all lies. Philippians 4, 6 says, we're supposed to present our request to God, not decree and declare, not release prayers. No, we're to come to the Lord humbly to ask because it's based on his will, not ours. Also, Hebrews 4, 16, we're to approach the throne of God to find help. Again, you see in even both those scripture verses that it's all in the Lord's hand, not in ours. But according to this lady, it's all about us. Look inside yourself, ask yourself, confess to yourself, pray to yourself. Again, narcissism is really what you're seeing with the little Jesus sticker slapped on the side. Number five, we're to ask our bodies to forgive us. <laughs> what? Said no verse ever. Where did Jesus and the apostles ever go around before they healed anybody saying, you know what, just first, first, just, just stand there. You have leprosy, you're blind, you're lame. Why don't you ask um, your body to forgive yourself first and then you can be healed. How about no? No, not one verse in scripture. She is making this stuff up. This is nowhere found in scripture. Now let's, let's look at this again. She's talking about the, our body's forgiveness. What does the Bible say about that? Psalm 51 verse four, it says that we, the only person we've sinned against is the Lord, okay? Our, we're to come to him to ask forgiveness. First John 1, 9, we go to the Lord to ask forgiveness. He alone is the one that we have offended and sinned against. Not our bodies, not ourselves. This is absolute garbage. And finally, let's look at sickness. Bill Johnson and Bethel Church, they teach constantly that it is God's will to heal all the time. Huh. Oh, really? No. Okay. Now take a look at Bill Johnson and take, remember that lady in the, in the opening video, what do they both have in common? They're both wearing hmm, prescription eyewear. Was their eyes mad at them? <gasps> Maybe they didn't, uh, you know, confess anything to their bodies. Maybe they didn't release some prayers because they still have bad eyesight. Hmm. Also, if you know, and it's sad, but Bill Johnson's wife died of cancer this year. Was her body mad at her? Did she not release some prayers and go through these steps? This is pure nonsense. They, they don't practice what they preach. Why? Because what they preach is unbiblical. It's blasphemy and it is nonsense. Okay. These people are con artists to keep, they, they want, they, literally you have to get this, they want you to look inside yourself, not look to Christ. That's a problem, okay? They also want you to think that you have the power to heal. Again, it's a demotion of Christ and an elevation of self. It's a very self-centered, man-centered uh, belief. And again, nowhere found in the Bible. The problem with all this nonsense is people get caught up in it. They go through this little method that this lady teaches and they don't get healed. What happens then? <laughs> They get frustrated, they get disillusioned, they get mad at God because they went through the steps and nothing happened. 
Or the other thing happens is they feel good. They have a little, you know, feeling that their body got healed because they went through these goofy steps. It's called a placebo effect and it leads to false healings. And Justin Peters has documented that. Watch this. Um, so broadly speaking, there's two different kinds of quote unquote healings. You've got psychosomatic healing and organic healing. Uh, psychosomatic healing, psycho mind, soma body, mind over body. Uh, psychosomatic healings happen all the time. That's when someone has uh, an illness or a malady that uh, cannot be readily seen. You know, uh, pain in your lower back, uh, bursitis in your right shoulder, ringing in your ears, and uh, you know, fibromyalgia. You know, one of these kind of things. Uh, it's not that people don't really feel something, but it's it's a it's a it's a malady that you can't readily see. Uh, but these, many of these kinds of conditions, not all of them, but many of them, uh, you can gain temporary relief from just by a temporary rush of adrenaline, a rush of endorphins, a rush of emotion. And when you're in a closed environment with hundreds, maybe thousands of people all believing the same thing, all uh, they're being subjected to this emotionally charged music, they believe that the man or the woman up on stage claims to hear from God, or, or they believe they actually do hear from God, uh, you can you can convince yourself that you feel better. Mm -hmm. And you do feel better for a little while until the euphoria subsides, a new day dawns, and the symptoms almost always reappear. This is the, it's the theological equivalent of a sugar pill. Also, people are taught to have the answer inside of themselves instead of turning to the Lord who has all the answers. You have to know this. And finally, people are being taught to go outside of the word of God. She didn't bring out any verses. She brought out experience, okay? It wasn't based on what Jesus could do. It's based on what you can do. All of that is absolutely false. See, Bethel Church is the last place you should ever go for sound biblical doctrine. This cult is twisting God's word and making people think they have the power, all the while avoiding Jesus, who has all authority, all the power, and if it's his will, he can and will heal.